John F. Kennedy said, we celebrate the past to awaken the future. Lafayette Savings Bank commemorates 145 years of business. Our past is to be celebrated and our future is to be awakened. John Perdue founded Lafayette Savings Bank in 1869 and we first opened our doors in the basement of another bank, the First National Bank Building at 316 Main Street. Open Saturdays from 2 to 4 p.m. In 1918, we moved to the Lafayette Life Building at the corner of Main and 3rd Streets and had our own storefront. Henry Sample was president for an astonishing 42 years. President Ted Axton spearheaded the construction of our current headquarters at Main and 2nd Streets in 1961. The site was selected for its convenience and the opportunity to enrich the downtown with modern architecture that today looks like something from TV's Mad Men. The bank's executive offices were avant-garde for the time, yet today are a timeless asset with the president's office right up front, accessible to everyone. President Axton received accolades from the city of Lafayette for the creation of an expanded parking area that included 30 trees to beautify the Wabash Riverfront. In 1993, Mary Ellen Newdeck, then vice president of Home Hospital, was elected chair of the Lafayette Savings Bank Board, becoming the first woman to serve with this title in a Lafayette bank. About this time, we instituted a 24-hour over-the-phone banking service called LS Bank Phone the predecessor to mobile banking. Lafayette Savings Bank met the World Wide Web by the end of the 90s with online banking and bill pay services, making banking an anywhere, anytime way of life. In 2001, John Corey retired after 10 years as president and Randolph Williams was named the 11th president of Lafayette Savings Bank. After September 11th, the USA Patriot Act was signed to fight the funding of terrorism. All U.S. financial institutions were required to verify the identity of every person who opens an account. The banking industry changed as the country's heightened security measures altered the life of every American. Seven years later, the financial industry on Wall Street suffered its largest losses since the Great Depression. Banks across the United States closed, and some accepted the TARP money. Not Lafayette Savings Bank. We continue to navigate hard economic times through fiscal responsibility for our customers and shareholders since 2008. We applaud the past and our accomplished transitions as we strive daily to better the future for our patrons. Volunteering is part of the fabric of our bank. We help others through the United Way Day of Caring. Lafayette Transitional Housing, the March of Dimes, and participating in Detrash the Wabash. We help bring fun to our community by participating in the Taste of Tippy Canoe, sponsoring sports teams, creating winning floats for the Greater Lafayette Christmas Parade, and much more. As the sponsor of the Greater Lafayette Commerce Small Business of the Month program, we're privileged to recognize small businesses, the backbone of our bank's clientele, and our city's trade. In 2008, in an effort to curb identity theft, Lafayette Savings Bank hosted our first community-wide shred day. Documents, bills, bank statements, and more were shredded, creating 2.5 tons of paper that day. Lafayette Savings Bank has been honored with two outstanding awards. We were the first bank awarded the Greater Lafayette Commerce Grand Marquis de Lafayette Award, which pays tribute to community leaders who steadfastly contribute to the quality of life in Greater Lafayette. We received the Century Award from then-Governor Mitch Daniels in 2009. The honor is presented to Indiana companies who've been in business for at least 100 years and display a history of community service. In the summer of 2012, Purdue student and Indiana native David Bodine won the 10-meter platform Olympic gold medal. As a customer and believer in the community bank, David became the spokesperson for Lafayette Savings Bank. Today, the teller window is migrating to a touch of a finger. Mobile banking gives Lafayette Savings Bank a global presence, as our customers can bank with us from nearly anywhere in the world. This year holds the promise of the opening of our new mortgage center, giving Lafayette Savings Bank a discernible, influential presence as a leader in lending. So, what does the future hold for banking? Within 10 years, ATMs will be accessible by a smartphone. 
Within 20 years, no one will visit a teller for something as simple as a money deposit or withdrawal. The teller line will be non-existent. In 1960, when John F. Kennedy said, we celebrate the past to awaken the future, Lafayette Savings Bank was about to open a new headquarters on Main Street. That is our past. As the world changes, Lafayette Savings Bank looks with eyes wide open to a future that honors our foundation as we serve our customers and community through continual transformation and progress.